Hello lovelies and welcome back to my channel and welcome back to a brand new video. Today's video is a get it all done with me. I am going to be sharing a cleaning products haul and a few little homewares from The Reject Shop and Big W. I have also got a dinner recipe in this video as well with some laundry motivation and cleaning motivation too. So if you are wanting some cleaning motivation today or you would like to see some cleaning products that are in Big W and the reject shop then please continue to watch today's video and if you are new here hello my name is Michelle I am a stay-at-home mum to three gorgeous children I live in sunny Queensland Australia with my husband Chris and our three beautiful children and here on my channel I film a lot of cleaning videos one to motivate me and two hopefully motivate you as well and if you are new here I would love you to consider joining my YouTube family by clicking the subscribe button so you don't um, miss out on any future videos and make sure you also hit that bell notification too if you haven't already done so so you don't miss out on any future videos but I am going to stop chatting and let's get into today's video So I recently popped into the reject shop and Big W and I picked up some cleaning products and just homeware stuff. I love the reject shop because you can find a lot of things in there that you know not necessarily find in other shops here a lot of things from overseas like um, their laundry detergent that we might actually not have those certain fragrances in like Woolworths and um, Coles and stuff like that so I'll be sharing that with you and if you aren't here for the haul then I'll definitely pop up on the screen when the cleaning starts but I hope you guys enjoy this little haul <music> All the method products on sale and I have been using Co a lot lately um, but I have been loving using the method anti back in wild rhubarb and these were half price so they were $3.15 um, and I could not leave them there for that so I'm stocked up on this now and I did say about a month or two ago that I was not going to buy any more cleaning products because my cleaning cupboard is full, but I could not leave them there. Um, I, I wanted to get more, but I thought, no, I should leave some more on the shelves of people. It's really going strong, that dishwasher. I just got a three pack of hand soaps. I was going to get some refills, um, but this was really good value. I think it was three for $5. Um, and then I can pop them around the house. And then I found this fluffy um, crease releaser. It kills 99.9% .9 of odor causing bacteria. It releases creases, adds silky softness, and it smells exactly like the fluffy fabric softener, which I absolutely love. Excuse the dishwasher in the background. I forgot to put it on last night, so it's running now. Um, but I have been watching so many videos on in the UK and they use the Lenore crease, um, re release the crease and I just was like, oh, I need that for my sheets. And when I saw this yesterday when I was in Big W, I had to get. So I grabbed those, some more bath mats. Ours are all looking really shabby and I had one of those foam, mat um, foam bath mats for our bathroom. I've washed it. I'll show you. For you when i'm pack putting it away it's actually on the clothesline at the moment all the rubbers come off and i find that they're really slippery and i just thought going back to white bath mats although they get grubby quick they're so much easier to clean so i've got two of these toggle white bath mats and i've just washed them so the other day so they're ready to go in the bathroom set they were like 19 dollars, but they are super thick um but then when i was in the reject shop this morning they had toggle bath mats and I believe they were like $8. They are not as thick and as big as, I'll show you the difference, but I could not, again, leave them there for what the price was. I'll just show you the difference. So it is a little bit, they are a little bit, this is the big W one and that is the um reject shop size difference the big w one is just that little bit bigger so 
those ones in the wash um, one of these little dusting ones with the handle at the reject shop um if you've watched my videos i wear these like mop slippers all the time in the microfiber and i love them when i'm cleaning and i also have the hand mitt but i've been seeing a lot of videos and people get in easier with the handle so we'll see how we go but they did not have um replaceable covers so if you use this one um and wash it there's not another one available i was going to get two but i didn't want two handles so hopefully i'll be able to find covers um pods they had the a big omo for ten dollars and i wish i had got that but i had filled up my trolley and i didn't want to buy heaps but i've seen this um in the uk cleaning videos of people using um the surf lavender and spring jasmine and i saw this in the pods so i thought this is I would get that um, I haven't smelt it yet so hopefully you can't smell it but I always um, normally get the downy pods from the reject shop I didn't get them today because I saw them um, and they're six dollars I think for 20 as well so this was a dollar more and I saw this fabric softener the comfort tropical crush and last time I was in the reject shop I got a big bottle of the lavender comfort and it smelled beautiful on the sheets and William even said he liked that so I wish I had got that again today but I just occasionally will throw fabric softener in and I just wanted to give that one a try if it when I was a teenager I used to use flex shampoo and conditioner now I use Olaplex all the time now for my hair but I have two teenage girls they get function of beauty as well but um, I could not leave um, the flex shampoo and conditioner they were four dollars each um the girls might give it a try i just yeah it, i went down memory lane with that so i've got that i haven't even smelt like if it still smells the same yep that there is like memories we were lanterns for our one of our outdoor areas and so was six dollars each two little candles to pop in them as well so i just got the dove hand washing um liquid it smells exactly like the body wash now the dusting wand that's extendable i have really bad little cobwebs at the moment on my ceiling oh, we need to get our pest control done um, i'm not sure if it's also because we live on a property um that we get extra spiders but they are really really bad in our bedroom at the moment and i cannot reach our ceilings our ceilings are super tall so hopefully that will extend even if i stand on a little ladder and we'll get anything high reach and i got a whole lot of tissues that were 99 cents you just saw me unpack them then um they're probably going to rip our noses off um because they're so cheap um but yeah coming into like it's winter here people are getting colds um i just grabbed some tissues to pop in the rooms i've already left one in the car Do you ever call back? i'm going to get this dark load out and hung on the clothesline in a minute and before i do that i'm just going to pop a color wash on i'd already had done two washes before i had done the school run this morning one that was already timed the night before and one before this one and i'm just sharing with you here i'm using a color catcher for the color wash they are fantastic to use in colors and i have worked with color catch sad color catches before but i always bought them i absolutely love them and i am using omo in my wash today and i am just sharing that because i've already filled up this little glass jar from ikea and i'm also also using the comfort sensitive fabric softener in this wash and this is one of my dad's Muscovy ducks um, if you aren't aware my dad lives here with us as well in his own little house on the property and he has lots of Muscovy ducks and this guy follows me around a lot during the day and I'm just going to take these towels off they have already dried because it's been beautiful and sunny and windy and I'm tying my hair up because it gets really hot out here in the sun although I have a jumper on I'm just going to hang this wash out I love my rotary clothesline uh, hills hoist as they call them here in Australia um, 
it just makes the clothes dry so much quicker and I just love to be able to spin it around. It is one of my favorite things. It was a must that I had to have when we um, built our house. We actually purchased that off Facebook Marketplace and Chris installed it in there for me. And I'm just going to pop anything that belongs down in the laundry in this blue bucket. This blue bucket I purchased from Aldi a couple of weeks ago in a grocery haul and I have been using that when I do my grocery shop at Aldi. It's so much easier to bring up the groceries. I got this wonderful tip off a lovely friend on Instagram called Deanna and I will link her um, Instagram account below. She's another Aussie mum and she's got a beautiful home that she has been renovating. And I'm just going to put any of these extras in the linen cupboard here. I need to do another linen cupboard organization and cull. So if you are wanting to see one of those videos, I would love for you to comment below and let me know if you would like to see that. And I only shared this the other day in another video. I have been loving toasted ham and cheese sandwiches on these cold um, days. So I'm just wiping the George Foreman over, popping it away. And then I'm just going to use the rhubarb method anti-back um, multi-surface spray on the bench just to wipe over where all those products are because I'm just about to prep the food to pop in the slow cooker for the evening and um, I don't want to have any germs from any of those products that have been sitting in the shops. So I'm just going to pop a slow cooker on for dinner this evening and in the slow cooker I have popped in a corned beef silver side that is one of William's most favorite dinners and in it I am going to cut up one onion in quarters although I noticed I didn't quarter one of the halves and then I will add in three cloves and just the amount of carrots that our family will eat. If the meat is a bigger portion then I might add an extra clove and one extra onion and then I just cover it with water and pop Pop it on low but unfortunately on this day we had a power outage in southeast Queensland so it actually turned off it was only off for about an hour it was fine um, but I had to turn it on high so it was cooked ready for a time for dinner in time for dinner sorry um, but normally I will just have it on low and it will be ready for dinner time So I'm just unpacking the dishwasher. Normally I will unpack the dishwasher before the kids have their breakfast in the morning. Um, but one of the kids who was on duty, dishwashing duty, forgot to press play. But luckily then the breakfast dishes got to go in as well. So they were all done. And then I'm just going to pop what I just used and my plate from lunch. But um, I find if I get the dishwasher unpacked while the kettle is boiling in the morning, it just makes the kitchen a lot more tidier because the kids will put, pop their breakfast dishes in the dishwasher. Baby, I can sit beside you while you're going on about your simple life. 
Nothing left you thinking that maybe you're not different. And I'm just going to give the kitchen sink a quick wipe over with the method um, anti back wipe and just make that all nice and clean and tidy again. If you have been following along for a very long time, you know that I have purchased a butler sink to be installed in here and I am waiting very patiently for Chris to install it and I hope very soon that he will do that for me and I'll have a beautiful farmhouse sink in there to clean. Now I'm just going to go hang this load up on the clothesline and um, make sure that is dry before I have to do the school run today as well. I'm just going to pop these bath mats in with a little bit of Omo and a little bit of Oxy action to brighten them up. I always wash anything that I buy beforehand before I use it um, unless I desperately need that shirt or something for an outing and then I'm just going to pop all of this away. I have been making sure I have been ironing on a Sunday evening with all the kids uniforms. I do have to purchase the kids a few more extra uniforms so I don't have to iron midweek but I have been motivated to iron again since watching Vic from Clutter Free Zone. I mentioned her the other day. She is so motivational. You need to go and follow her channel. And I'm just topping up the pod container here. And I noticed it's a little bit dusty down in our laundry. So I'm just going to spray that over, let that sit for a bit. And then I'm just going to do a quick little dust over in here. By no means is this a deep clean, but I was just wiping it over over here while I was waiting for that anti back to do its magic before I wiped it over. And I'm just going to clear the dining table. Olivia had wrapped a birthday present for her friend. So there's some wrap and scissors and sticky tape to pop away. And that little basket you can see there, I need to give it a little bit of a paint so it's not so orange. I have a vintage bike that I'm doing up. I've got everything to do it up and I just have postponed doing it. I might even add it into a video one time if you'd like to see that, let me know. Otherwise, follow me on Instagram. I'll definitely be sharing it over there. also share with you what happened to the bath mat uh, the memory foam bath mat as you can see here all of the backing has gone on it so I think this has seen better days and I am going to pop that in the bin You should learn that on your own I play cool Cause I hope you pick it up soon And you know just what to do Don't you Boy, just be honest
I'm just going to give this dining room window a clean with some Windex and a glass cloth because there was some hand marks on in the inside and then there was some nose and paw marks from the dogs on the outside as well. They come and chat at this window quite regularly and they have a little dog bed that they sit out in the day too so they get all their grubby face and paws on this window a lot and I was going to finish this video sharing Bruce the robotic vacuum whilst I made myself a cup of tea and sat down and enjoyed that but as I mentioned that there was a power outage here so I decided to end the video here and have a little bit of a sulk and because I couldn't make myself a cup of tea. But I hope this video gave you the motivation that you are after today. And if you are after more cleaning motivation, I am going to pop a playlist up for you. And I hope that if you enjoyed this video, you would love to click the subscribe button and join my YouTube family. But I hope you guys enjoyed and I will chat to you in my next video. Bye guys.